would you be so kind as to subscribe to my mama's channel? Cause you see, she don't feed me no more. I need food. I need food. I'm hungry. I'm a big boy and I need some food. So please subscribe, follow, comment, like, subscribe, like, comment. Me show. What have I said? about taking my camera and begging for subscribers. We don't do that, sir. This dog, I swear, it's like, it's like he doesn't believe in me. Rude. <laughs> no, but seriously, before we get into the, today's video, Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, leave a comment, and turn on the post notifications to be notified every single time I upload. upload. Okay guys, now that you guys have subscribed to my channel and already hit the thumbs up on this video, let's get into it, because you still don't know what it is. Um, so I've gotten a couple of requests to show off my skincare routine. Not show off, I don't know why I said show off. Um, but yeah, basically some of you wanna see my skincare routine and I figured I was about to start it anyway. Why not record it for you guys? Cause I'm not gonna lie, lately I've been slacking on it. I really have, I have not been doing it as much, but we're trying to get back into the groove of things, you know? Okay, so before actually diving into this video, let's just talk about my skin a little bit. Um, so my skin currently is very much combination. It's kind of oily, kind of dry. You know, it has its dry patches. It's got its, blah, blah, blah. It's, got its oily patches. Um, so it's very much combination. It's a little bit more on the dry side right now just because of some of the products that I'm using. Um, I'm actually very proud of where my skin currently is right now. Um, it used to be terrible. Like this skin still isn't great. Like I still have some acne scars, which you can't really see because this camera kind of like smooths my skin out a little bit, but you can kind of see the acne scarring that I have on my cheeks very much. The rest of my face is pretty much okay. It's really just my cheeks that have like right there, all of that. Acne scar, can you see it? All of that. <laughs> Cute, I know. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, my skin used to be very bad when I was a teenager. I had very much cystic acne. It was very painful, it was not fun. Um, I just had very acne prone skin, and I still do. There, to this day, like there's still products that I'm very afraid to try. I'm very one thing you have to know about me with my skincare routine is I'm very like dead set to my product. This year has been the first year in many that I've actually explored different products just because my skin is so acne prone and it's so sensitive that literally like using a different foundation that might have too much oil in it will break me out. Like just any little product can literally damage my skin so much and I hate it. I absolutely, I have like a fear like I'm not kidding I have PTSD from my childhood acne not childhood but like teenage acne this past year like I said is the very first year that I have actually explored and ventured out trying different products for my skin I figured you know we're in quarantine because of a certain thing going on in our world we can't really say what it is but you know there's a fun little thing going on in the world today this year um, that has left me able to very much explore different products with my skin because nobody really sees me At least not At least they used to not now people kind of see me because I'm very much more into social media and everything But at the beginning of this year, that was not me um, But yeah, so I'm very proud of how my skin is looking right now um I don't really have pictures of me when I had bad acne because it was so bad that I would not take pictures unless I had makeup 
covering the acne like that's how bad it was i would literally not take a picture of myself i would not be doing this right now if i had acne if my my skin is that bad as it used to be like this would not be happening unless i had like a layer of foundation which like i don't i literally just washed my face i'm talking too much so i'm gonna kind of summarize <laughs> Um, my skin is combination skin currently. Right now, it's a little bit more on the drier side. Uh, I used to have very bad acne. My skin is still very much acne prone, however, but it's gone significantly better. All I really have now is just the dark spots and everything. My skin journey is not finished at all, but let's actually dive into the products and I'm going to talk to you guys about how I like each product um, and if I think it's a product that I'm going to continue using for the next foreseeable future so let's dive in <laughs> okay so i don't know why i just jumped who do i think i am okay guys so the first product of course is a face wash skin cleanser Woo! um i use a cetaphil 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 i don't know how you pronounce it but i use this there we go so i use this as my skin cleanser obviously i actually didn't get this product so i've been watching hiram a lot of this stuff is based on his recommendations if you watch him you know that he prefers cerave as opposed to cetaphil but my friends use this and they love it they swear by it so i was like let me try it out before the cleanser that I was using was terrible, it was literally like a bar of soap, but I would get it from Bulk Barn, and it was like a clay bar of soap, it was meant for acne prone skin, and it helped me, I used that for like 3 or 4 years, but it was like a bar of soap from Bulk Barn, it was just weird, <laughs> it was great, and it helped me clear up a lot of my, my acne actually, so I owe that big time, if I find a picture of it, I'll upload it somewhere here, I don't know, but yeah, I used to just use a face bar, and now I've been using this. I've been really liking this. Um, it doesn't really foam up though, and I kind of like a cleanser that foams up, like you can actually see. Like I feel like because I don't see it, I feel like it's not doing anything. Obviously it is, but yeah, so this is my face wash. I like it, it's okay. Am I gonna continue using it for the foreseeable future? Yes, I am. Um, until I finish this bottle, I'll use, and it's like pretty full, so. I already washed my face, so I'm not gonna like wash it again for you guys' experience. And my skin's already feeling a little dry, so. But I pat, 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 pat. So, my skincare regimen consists of five products. Well, six, including seven products. Seven products, including the final moisturizer as well as my skin cleanser, the Cetaphil. So after I pat dry my skin, I usually go in The Ordinary, of course, I got this from Hiram, but it's by The Ordinary, let me just, so it's just called that, I'm gonna link all of these down in the description box below, but this is the R, R Geraline Solution 10%, I don't know if I said that right, but there you go it's a very watery consistency so i basically just put in like half a drop of it you squeeze these out and it like collects up until halfway not this one this product's almost out for me but like about like halfway to there and then i squeeze it all into my hand and then i just tap it on my skin just pat in on my skin so then after that the next product i go in with is also by the ordinary all of these are by the ordinary except for three of them Except for two of them, sorry. So next I go in with this. This is the ascorbic acid with something else. Ascorbic acid plus alpha arbutin. So it's 8% ascorbic acid and then 2% alpha arbutin. This product, so the one that I used first, the Argeraline, the watery one, I do like it helps a lot with my skin i've noticed it significantly especially here i was like i get laugh lines because when i laugh it's like i just get wrinkles everywhere all over my face it's helped me significantly with my forehead because i used to get like little wrinkles and now like, I, I, I just don't um it's helped smooth out my skin and i've seen that personally um now this one however it's honestly just super oily and i don't like it and i find that it takes off product that I have underneath. So once again, just like that. And this one is a little bit more of an oilier, like it's 
not my favorite product, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really see a massive difference after using this. So I'm probably not gonna continue using this product. It just feels gross, it's so oily and it just, do you guys see that glistening from both hands? I literally have to dry my hands before moving on. After that, the next product that I go in with is a retinol cream. Now, I use the Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream. I'm not gonna, I wanna show you it, but the tube is disgusting. Like, it just got product all over everywhere. But this is by Drunk Elephant. I do like this. It's extremely strong. It's an extremely strong project. Project? It is an extremely strong product. Who the heck do I think I am talking about project? So yeah, this is just the Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream. It looks gross, I know. I take about that much. I'm not really sure how much that is, but just that much. And I really just focus it on my cheeks. That's really where. Or if I have like a new pimple or something like that, I focus it there but on my cheeks and then any new breakout and then just the remain remainder of it i just kind of spread all over my face i'm a little crazy and if hiram ever sees this video he will want to strangle me i swear um it says to use it two or three times a week at, once you finally get kind of like used to it and everything um, what I like to do is use it morning and night, twice a day, for like three or four days in a row until my face literally feels like it's on fire when I use it. Um, and then I just like to moisturize for the next two or three days after that, while my skin is literally peeling like crazy. <laughs> if any of you guys have any good recommendations for retinol creams, let me know down below. After using the retinol cream, obviously you gotta hydrate. So I'm going with the ordinary, obviously, hyaluronic acid. I love hyaluronic acid. I've been using it for a very long time. The like tubey thingy that all the other bottles have, mine fell off of the cap. Like there's like nothing attached to it. So I just pour it out of the bottle onto my hand. Like a quarter size amount. And then I put that all over my face. Literally, the more the better. Okay, after the hyaluronic acid, I go in with my second last product. So I go in with the niacinamide, 10% and then 1% of zinc from The Ordinary, once again. You know Hiram, you know how much he loves his niacinamide. So I use this, and this is a brand new bottle. Um, it's not my first time using this one, it's just a new bottle, so. Once again, half a squeezy tubey thingy. And this one feels very much similar to the hyaluronic acid. It's maybe a little bit liquidier. <laughs> Is that even a word? Okay, and once again, I spread that all over my face. Okay, like hi. Oh my okay. god, I look like a glazed Krispy Kreme donut. Okay guys, so seeing as this is my nighttime skincare routine, this is going to be my last product, the one that I'm about to put on. And it's just this, Bulldog Age Defense, I believe. Moisturizer, it has rosemary in it, echinacea, I think that's how you pronounce it, and vitamin E. It's just this by Bulldog, it's from the drugstore. Um, it's for men. If you guys didn't see the package or if you're not familiar with this brand it's very much a men a male focused brand um i just put you guys see like that amount of it and i spread it all over my face um now this one i've been using for a while and i actually got it from my boyfriend he started using this brand and then i started using the brand because I like that it had vitamin E and it actually very much hydrates my skin. My skin feels very good, it feels very hydrated. There's no strong scents in it, which I really love. So it is very much a male product, a male focused product, I should say. But honestly, products are products. Um, it's a moisturizer. Moisturizers can work on anyone, female or male, whatever you identify as. 
it's a product that will most likely work on your face if it has good ingredients um so it really doesn't matter in my opinion at least in that incident it doesn't matter who in my opinion it's focused at because i feel like as long as the products are good as long as they're helping your skin why does it matter if it's supposed to be for men or for women you know what i mean product or products ingredients or ingredients men and women use the same ingredients <laughs> there's nothing different about us we're both humans i don't really care if it's a product for men as long as the ingredients are good and they help me out with my skin and i see a difference and my skin feels hydrated i'm gonna use it come at me bruh Um, so Hiram, hi boo if you're watching this, if not, that's, that's cool, you have better things to be doing than watching little, little old me. <laughs> it's cool boo. It's but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, let me know down in the comments below what you think of my skincare routine, do you think it's good, do you think it's bad, let me know have you tried some of the products that I have been using, um, if you have, let me know your thoughts on those products below, I will also link all of these products i don't make any money from them whatsoever from the links whatsoever i don't make any money from the links whatsoever i just want to link them there for you guys if you do happen to want to try out some of the same products that i have been using you have them available to you once again before i go like this video comment down below your thoughts and opinions um subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification to be notified every single time i upload because like I always say, you don't want to miss these videos because they're a good time, a good time. I'm sorry, I'm jamming out in my head to some songs that I can't sing because I'll get copyrighted. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.